Hello, hello. Today is March 15th, 2011. Well, today's Tuesday. Um, today is my journal entry. That's where I made a, I made a journal entry yesterday and I posted that. And it was kind of long actually, but... You know, I've been... It's been kind of an interesting day. I guess like yesterday and today. Yesterday, I don't know why, but... No, I didn't mention it in the video yesterday, but I was so emotional yesterday, as in, like, not like I was angry at anyone, but I was so emotional in the sense that, uh, like, I was kind of sad, I guess. And one of the big reasons was because of Japan. Uh, all, all the stuff that's been happening in Japan... And even before Japan, you know, there's been there have been so many like natural disasters, so many people suffering, and it's just so sad. It's weird. Yesterday, three instances, I almost I almost just broke down and started crying. Like first, uh, I don't know. It was just during the day. I think I was just at school. I was in between in between two of my classes. There's a 10 minute break in between there. And I was just thinking about Japan and about all the lives that they were just so crippled because of the tsunami. And man, I just, it just came over me that I just got so sad. And you know, I, I held my tears back. But I don't know what, why, but it just hit me so hard. And then another instance uh, was when I was exercising, I was working out. We were at the gym, and the news was on. It just showed pictures of Japanese people suffering. And I almost lost it at the gym. I kind of ironic, a place where the masculinity is, well, like, ridiculously high. It's, you know, you know, people just lifting weights, but, wow, I got so emotional. I had to stop for, I had to stop for a little while and just, Take a breath and realize, you know, people are suffering out there. And the last one was last night. Well, Sunday night, I made I made a friend. I met someone on the bus, and like we exchanged numbers. And it was a girl, but she has a boyfriend, so it's nothing weird. But it was just the first time meeting with her. Like, oh, let's go get something to eat. We'll go, we'll get some coffee or something. So you know, we order the coffee and everything. We're sitting down, and I get a phone call. Oh, I mentioned this yesterday. I got the phone call that my friend, one of my close friends in Korea, his grandpa died. Man, like, I almost lost it right there at the coffee shop. And I think, I think a big part of this, me just being so much more sensitive towards life, is just getting more life experience. Coming to Korea, uh, seeing that there's people all around the world, and the culture is it's really different over here. But even though it's so different, uh, it's so cool that we're all human and we all understand this thing called love. And we all understand how humans have this relationship with each other and, you know, love, humor, like just excitement, happiness, joy, you know, that's universal. Unfortunately, you know, hurt, pain. Depression, all that stuff, that's kind of universal as well. You, you don't have to speak the language. You can see someone if they're hurting. You know, just getting so much more of this life experience in Korea. Uh, man, I just feel so blessed to be given this opportunity, I guess. To be here, just growing as a person. But, wow, I... The thing that happened in Japan, that's a lot of people hurting. Oh, I guess those four instances. Last night I was invited on Facebook from actually the talk coordinator to go to this event for Congo. So this girl named Min, 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 uh, she's, it's her birthday. And for her birthday, she's, it's this thing called a birthday for a cause. So on her birthday, she's organizing this big, I guess like some kind of concert of some sort. And all proceeds, you know, she's getting a lot of, donations and all proceeds go to helping women who are you know, sexually abused 
in Congo. And, oh man, that really hit me hard last night as well. And man, I almost lost it sitting right here, right here. I was just, I was about to cry, but you know, I was like, ah, keep it together, Daniel. Man, again, it's starting to make me realize, just, I guess, rekindling that fire deep inside that, you know, I want to make a difference in this world. And it's not like I'm going to change everyone. You know, it's investing in a few people. Investing in those people as much as you want, as much as you can, and just investing in them, showing them love, and really trying to show them that life is beautiful. And, like, like yeah. My, my passion for dentistry is even stronger. You know, as a dentist, the job security is there. You know, the financial background is there. Right now, even during the recession, it's pretty tough for dentists. But, uh, you know, I have, pretty, I have pretty strong faith in myself that I'm, I'm going to be a solid dentist. And more than that, I want to become a solid businessman or a solid, maybe a professor or, what is it, dean at a dental school. I want to get to high positions and I want to make a lot of money. And with that money, I want to donate it because guess what? You know, money changes things and I want to change some things. There are a lot of people hurting around the world and like... A teacher in what is it Haiti or somewhere in South Africa or Africa somewhere a teacher's salary is forty dollars not day not per week not per month but per year forty dollars a year I was like come on man that's ridiculous so you know I do want to make a lot of money and I hope I do and I want to give a lot of it away that kind of sounds a little crazy but you know, oh, that's really been one of my passions for a long time. And I guess just being here in Korea and just seeing all this stuff happen, it's really good because it's it's giving it's making me remember that passion that I had a while ago. And I I really like it. It's really good. Life is beautiful. So yes. You know, teaching, I, uh, today today was my second official day of teaching. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. The first graders, they are a handful. I had 29 kids, and I only had 27 chairs in the room. So that was a little difficult right off right off the bat. I uh, did some stuff, so they all had some chairs, but not easy. But I still had fun, and... One of my, one of my friends here, his name is Brian, and I remember him, he told me that, you know, you know, he's had some close experiences with death, apparently, and, you know, because of that, he he really loves life. Even the good, even the bad, you know, just experiencing that, because that's part of my life, you know, it's changing my life, and I really find that as a blessing. I, I'm so thankful for that. And I thought his words were so true. Everything that's happening to me over here, wow, it's such a blessing for me. I'm so thankful for everything. You know, all the bad things, all the good things, I'm so thankful for. I, today I asked I asked one of my teachers or I asked three of the teachers if we can kind of do like a, maybe a canned food drive of some sort to help the Jap Japanese you know the tsunami but you know some things uh, en ended up saying ah but probably we cannot do that and I was kind of I was kind of sad but I was on Facebook and I saw that Yuji he wanted to do something about this thing in Japan I was like oh I wanted to too and I was just reading all these little comments behind it under it and. People are just so awesome. I, I, I don't even know why I didn't think of it, but people are making cards. People, they said, maybe you can make a YouTube video. These are awesome ideas because even though if we can't get them food, you know, there's such thing as like the moral support. You know, I want, I want them to know that people love them in Korea. People from America love them. You know, it sucks that that tsunami really hit so many people in Japan. Uh, yeah. Again, like I said, I got pretty emotional. And I'm primarily making this video because right now, what is it, like 11, 11.30 p.m. right now, uh, I was just, I was on Facebook and, yeah, uh, it hit me. One of my friends, her name is Stella Cho, and she's someone who I actually respect a lot, and her, her little profile picture said, pray for Japan. And that just 
this just ring in my head like wow yeah pray for Japan yeah they need our prayers pray for all the people hurting the world and yeah this is quite the long video but I want to remind you whoever's watching this that love wins and you can make a difference in this world you really might not feel like you're making a difference but just little by little that's how it works and I really want you to believe that you can make a difference and do not just sit around doing nothing if you want to make a difference you kinda of have to work your butt off but from my life experience you know in every instance giving is always so much better than receiving it's so, it just makes you feel so much better so yeah live a life not for yourself but for others you know live a life of love and you're, you're gonna love life okay have a good night goodbye